Welcome into today's makeup day workout and this one should give your body an opportunity to recover from a very busy week. So we're going to start with a hands and knees rock. Just rocking as far as you comfortably can forward and back. Maintaining good spinal alignment. Getting some nice stretch in your wrist as you come forward. Not into pain, never into pain. We're going to do just one minute back and forth gently warming up and opening up your body getting all the joints ready for the work they're going to do for you today then from this position we're going to do some scapular rotation so with your hands stacked underneath your shoulders you're going to make a big circle clockwise keeping your elbows locked Bring your shoulders as far in front as you can, to the side and around. We're going to do one minute of rotations. You want to go half the time in one direction and half the time in the other direction. Again, never pushing into pain. Now we're going to do one minute of scapular retraction. So you're going to push away from the floor, press into the floor, push away, press in. This is all through the shoulder blades. I don't want your lower back to flex or extend at all. And you'll notice as I come down, my hands are rotating in and rotating out. So the hands don't actually move, but if you watch my elbow joint, you'll see the head of the humerus is actually rotating in the socket here. So I'm actually getting some nice mobilization for my shoulders. At no point do my elbows bend, keep them locked. Now I'm going to bring my right foot forward beside my hand and we're going to do some hamstring rocks, rocking forward and back. Just feel that hamstring opening up. We're going to do one minute on the right side. And then we're going to switch and do one minute on the left. Finally, we're going to do one minute of baby crawls on our hands and knees. Opposite arm and leg moving at the same time. We're going to go forward and backward. So my right hand moves with my left leg and my left hand with my right leg. workout today is six rounds long on a continuous running 30 minute clock. So every round is going to begin with two minutes of a loaded carry. You can carry the way that you want depending on the load that you have. So if you have a pretty heavy load, you can farmers carry. If you want to carry here with something a little bit lighter, you could carry in a rack position carry on a shoulder if you liked. If you have something very light, you might want to carry overhead. If you're somebody who is stuck with just a 12 pound dumbbell or something like that, you could carry something one-handed. And if that's still easy for you, you could always make it harder by doing an overhead lunge, for example. So you're going to be carrying for two minutes. The next two minutes of your round is going to be spent in continuous leopard crawl. So the leopard crawl is on hands and the balls of the feet, opposite arm, opposite leg, like we did in the warm-up, but my knees aren't touching down. Now I want you to note that I'm keeping my head up and my hips down. So I'm not, this is not a bear crawl, my hips are not going up, my legs are not straight, they're bent, and I want my back to be level. So we're going to go forward and back for two minutes. If that's too intense for you, you can always substitute a baby crawl and keep working at this one for now. The third part of your round is only one minute long. So you have two minutes of carries, two minutes of crawls, and then one minute. And this minute is going to be a different movement every round. So this is the only part that changes from round to round. In round one, you're going to end with one minute of dead bug dead bug. You're going to lie on your back 
with your arms and knees up, feet off the floor, tailbone off the floor. You're going to lower opposite arm, opposite side arm and leg, like so, not touching the floor. So it's my right arm, my left leg, my left arm, my right leg, keeping the tailbone off the floor at all times. I'm never relaxing there. And what I want you to note is my other arm and leg stay, stay stationary. So my left arm stays up, my right arm stays up. I'm controlling which limbs I lower. If you want to make this harder, you can bring your upper torso off the floor a little bit. Challenge yourself. Round two is going to end with a bird dog. Hands and knees, opposite arm, opposite leg. Keep your head up, reaching out, keeping the core tight. Round three, we're going to end with windshield wipers. With a windshield wiper, you're going to lie on your back, arms out at your side, knees up, feet in the air. Let your hips rotate over as far to the side as you can. Bring them up and over to the other side. But the key is to keep your shoulder blades on the floor. So it's more important to keep your shoulders in contact with the floor than to touch the floor with your knees. So if you can only go part way like this, that's okay. We'll go back and forth for one minute. If it's too easy, straighten out the top leg. That will make it a little bit harder. Or if you're really strong, you can go with both legs straight. But make sure to keep the shoulder blades on the floor. In round four, we're going to finish with the gate bug, which is like the dead bug to the start. But now my opposite arm goes down instead of up overhead. Can you see that? The arm is following the leg now keeping that tailbone up off the floor the whole time. Round five, we're doing speed skaters, which look a lot like the bird dog, but just like with our gait bug, the arm is following the leg. So the arm, opposite side arm goes back with the opposite side leg. And round six, we're going to return for one more time at windshield wipers. Now, the scoring on this workout is how many times you need to take a break. If you need to stop leopard crawling, if you need to put your load down for a moment, or take a break during your bird dog or your dead bug, mark it down as one point. Fewer points, a score of zero, is a perfect score, so fewer points is better. Let's see how few times you need to take a break in the next 30 minutes. Good luck.